This is my Westinghouse solar panel. I did a ground mount installation uh, for less than 60 bucks. I went out and I got these uh, PVC tubes. These are two foot long. At Home Depot they, they sell these in just two foot sections. I, I hardly needed to make any cuts. But I just dug a one foot hole and uh, put in the two foot section of PVC. I've got another foot extended here. I put uh, got a PVC end cap and you want to get a flat one so the, uh, the L bracket can mount uh, nice and level. And I did need to also buy these bolts. They're about 75 cents uh, to a dollar with a nut. And you can see how the Westinghouse panel has the built-in groove here so you can just mount the L bracket right to the panel you don't need to buy any solar rail or anything like that and you just want to be uh, be sure when you, you put these in you just want to get them nice and level and uh, if you wanted a little extra stability you could have maybe used concrete but I found just filling the tubes with excess dirt and uh, if you just dig in, uh, you know, about a foot hole or so, uh, that was good enough to, to, to hold this in pretty, pretty, uh, pretty sturdy. And, uh, and that's all you need to do. And this is kind of a low wind area. The, uh, the garage here kind of prevents a lot of uplift on the panel. But if you were in a higher wind area, you might want to do something like fill the the PVC tubes with concrete and I'm going to be tying uh, tying this panel in to my garage electric here but these lines need to be upgraded so this is the, the line that will need to replace to the garage and uh, here's the solar panel here uh, so on my next video I'll be wiring wiring that panel up but right now I just like to take a look at these these wires here if you're doing some outdoor installation you're going to want to use a use to wire they just have THWN or THW wire it's good for submersible pumps but uh, this wire doesn't hold up to the intense uh, light and sunlight and weather very well so you, you want to get a use to cable if you're doing some outdoor uh, solar installation. So I'll I'll try to replace all this this summer and yeah, run new line so we can get the panel hooked up. This is just an overview of the tools, uh, all the tools I use to do my solar ground mount install. So you can say there's not a whole lot of them. Uh, just a little extension cord here for the power tools. Um, this was just used, I didn't use this too much, just to cut one segment of the PVC tube. Drill, to drill a hole in the end caps of the PVC. Um, some bits, I didn't use all the bits, but just uh, just the one I needed to drill the, uh, the hole for the, the bolts that will be holding the L bracket that attach to the solar panel. Uh, socket set to tighten in the bolts on the L brackets to the solar panel and tighten the bolts on the uh, connecting the L bracket to the PVC. Measuring tape is pretty important because you want to measure out your four supporting posts very accurately and make sure they're level so you'll need that. And then a spade. I found this nice little spade. This worked really well for me because uh, you get a lot, of, a lot of pressure with a little spade. You can dig a nice little hole and it gets through the uh, Pennsylvania clay pretty easily so uh, that was a good tool and that's really all you need to get your ground mount installed